welcome to Denim and Blazers. I'm with Miss Amina. She's going to say her full name. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Amina Obuekwe. Thank you so much for having me. I'm glad you're here. Um, what do you do? Um, so I primarily do small business consulting with mm -hmm. a company called Pure HTX that I started back in 2017. In addition to that, I have a family business with my mom, which is her retirement business, and I'm just there helping out. And that's Fiend Boutique in Old Town Spring. That's cool. That's cool. Um, which one or both? Which is your passion? Um, Pure HTX is definitely my passion. I um, Post graduation in 2016, I went into corporate America and mm -hmm. worked for about six months, making like the most money I'd ever made. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. But after a while, I just wasn't really being fulfilled. Right. So um, after six months, I decided to leave that job. No plan, my little bit of savings. <laughs> and from that came Pure HTX. Um, I just was trying to figure out what to do. I didn't really have a plan. So mm -hmm. every day I was reading, researching, working out, and it just started to come to me that I wanted to be of service to people. Okay. With Pure HTX, what all do you, what all do you do? Um, whatever a small business needs. And I know that sounds like a lot mm -hmm. <laughs> and not enough at the same time, but it's whatever the client or the person, the brand needs, whether it's marketing, whether mm -hmm. it's being booked for events, whether it is social media management, graphic design, it's video content, whatever that is, I try to really connect them with that platform so they can do what they're passionate about. It's no okay. reason that people shouldn't. One thing that I found was, um, Two things that kept people from doing what they wanted to do was resources mm -hmm. and connections. Right. You don't really need a lot of money to do what you want to do, mm -hmm. but it really is important to have that support right. and to have people who are also passionate about what they're doing. So yeah. I wanted to be, you know, that person to bridge the gap. Yeah. That's why I say she brokers relationships. That's awesome, though. It's needed. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of times, you know, you know what you do, but you don't know how to make that work as far as business mm -hmm. and it can be really overwhelming mm -hmm. when you're trying to do something that you're passionate about right. and then you're like okay well it came with so many things that i was not aware <laughs> of and no one told me right but there are other people out there who do those things who mm -hmm. you know who are willing and really want to help you just gotta right. find them right so. and that's where you come in oh yes i'm gonna y'all y'all remember i'm gonna <laughs> um i know you said you started up after um school and you got it going was it hard for you or are you still figuring out your dance between work and personal or either work and just running the business? Absolutely. Um, it was really difficult in the beginning because mm -hmm. Pure started out as a one-time event. I just wanted it to be sort of that bridging the gap. I wanted to have a select list of people that I invited who I knew were doing things in the city, young mm -hmm. entrepreneurs. So Pure originally was it stood for producing urban raw elegance. And okay. I called up two of my friends. Um, one was a chef and one was a videographer and I knew that they had really great networks. So I said, hey, y'all have this idea and I really need your help, I need your help with it. Mm -hmm. So we met and about four hours later, what was supposed to be an event became an entire brand. Wow. And um, working with two other young ladies, just kind of trying to get it off the ground from a we had no idea. <laughs> it was it was really interesting, and um, now it's just two of us, but we've expanded. So mm -hmm. the chef, her name is Chef Jazz. She was really known in Houston for you know having very cool food. Okay. Um, and she's moved to New Orleans since. So now we have a little hub in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. um, but the growth just never stops. It's gone from us doing interviews to us hosting events to the booking to. Mm -hmm all sorts of things and I'm just always excited for it. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And and y'all starting up in New Orleans too to be honest. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um so you're in school? I am. Um I consider myself a lifetime student. I'm never gonna stop going to school. I don't care what nobody <laughs> says I'm gonna keep getting them degrees. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> yeah. So um I've just always been a person to follow my intuition so okay. when I was around 10 years old I knew that I was supposed to study psychology okay that's all that came to me I was to study psychology so I started doing research on social sciences and taking electives in that area and that's what I got my bachelor's in from Howard um, psychology after that 
and going and working in corporate America and kind of leaving that field, starting pure, I was knowing that I needed to be learning something different. So mm-hmm. during Pure, I was obviously doing hands-on work, learning and marketing, communications mm-hmm. and media. So that directed me to a business entertainment um, okay. master's, which I'm currently working on now. And also simultaneously working on a sociology master's because I can't leave social science alone. <laughs> you can't like leave people. Alone. I, I'm very intrigued by people um, and patterns mm-hmm. and just how they intertwine with business because they're mm-hmm. really not too far apart. Like social science is it's really everywhere. Right. It's really everywhere. So it's an interesting yeah. thing. When you think of how important networking is, it that's yeah. probably a great gift to have. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and I was I was a very introverted person, so I didn't get out to speaking and talking until I started here. Okay. But definitely having a social science background was a little helpful in okay. kind of knowing people's personality types and right. and things of that nature. Cool, cool. Um, your main mission with your company, what, where do you see it, like, in, let's say, two or three years? What would you want to be doing? Um, in two or three years, with Pure, I would like to have a staff and someone that I could leave it to. Mm-hmm. My personal end goal is, is philanthropy. So I'm really big on resources, education, mm-hmm. health. Those are things that are just very close to my heart. So um, everything I'm doing now is to just kind of build a platform, mm-hmm. build my network, and be able to one day be the person, you know, like Oprah, she's one of my, he's, Oprah and Prince are like one of my biggest inspirations. So mm-hmm. I want to be able to do things like go build a school, you right. know, give scholarships, talk about things that, you know, people need to talk about and put people that I've met in my past and worked with in my past right. in positions to, you know, just do what they are doing, mm-hmm. whatever that is, whether right. speaking or singing or doing art, because someone is going to be captured by that. Right. I think it's good and it's it's needed and it's important to build that network in your community yeah. um, and where people know that there is someone that they can go to to learn how to make yeah. what they need to happen happen and then after you get to that point to be able to help someone else you know so that's awesome yeah. it's so important to to give back and to come back to where you started from just to mm-hmm. return to your roots I think that's the most important thing right because if you the story of like, oh, you know, they made it and they just, they ain't never come back. Right. I think that's so, I just don't like that. That doesn't fit right, right to me. Because yeah. your environment is a huge part of mm-hmm. what you end up doing. Right. And letting others, especially the younger generation, know it is obtainable. You yes. can do it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, what are two frequently asked questions you get about your business? What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> Because I say, I do whatever you need. People uh-huh. are like, well, what does that mean? Uh-huh. And um, because I particularly work with people who are passionate about what they do, mm-hmm. I try to weed out people who are doing things just for money or just because right. it's on trend. So that's a little off-putting to them. They're like, well, what do you do? You know, right. Can I see your price list? Can I see your services? And I don't necessarily work like that. I mm-hmm. do a plethora of things, but I do what you need. Mm-hmm. So um, people who are passionate will know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you begin to learn what you don't know and you figure out what you need. Yeah, yeah especially if you're creative mm-hmm. and you don't have time for all of that. So, exactly. Because yeah. yeah. that's one thing I really believe in, especially with creative people. You don't really, it's important to do the things like the marketing mm-hmm. and the business and the emailing, but it takes you away from really honing in on your craft. Right. Even a business person like myself, yeah. I don't. I have to be very structured in when mm-hmm. I put out information because I'm working on a contract or I'm trying yeah. to figure out the numbers for a deal. So, so I mean, it, it like is that. needed. Yeah. Time management, organization tools. I sit down with people and show them how apps work. I, whatever you need, okay. like I try to get the job done. <laughs> You'll get your, your cost after she figures out what you need. <laughs> if that's what you're trying to if if that's what you're trying to figure out. Yeah. Right. And I don't hit people over the head with their prices, you know, with my prices either, because a lot of the people who I've seen who do things similar to me, the prices are out the water. And I'm like, man, this is what you're charging people who are trying to get started? Right, because starting up is expensive in yeah. itself. Yeah. So I try to be extremely reasonable with what okay. I do. Because cool. at the end of the day if I can help someone to get to where they want to be, maybe one day they can be of some service to me as well. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, plus the, yeah. Tr- the trust would be there. 
Yeah, you know, not to go tit for tat, but like I'm all about building people up because I'm gonna, you know, keep running my race as well. Right. But I want to see that person at the end too. Right. So yeah. yeah. It doesn't have to be lonely at the top. Yeah. Do you do you get asked anything else? That's a big question. What what do you do? Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of people also ask me um, where I'm going with it because it is continuously changing and transitioning. Mm-hmm. But I just do what I feel. So sometimes I don't know. I'm doing what God tells me to do. I have no idea. Like, and it will come to you. Yeah. Because yeah. I've noticed anytime I try to um, write my own narrative, mm-hmm. it never goes that way. It <laughs> never fails. It never goes yeah. that way. So yeah. I just follow my heart. And, and it's working out. Yeah. It's working out. Um, do you want to provide the audience with your information? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um, You all can find Pure HTX at Mm www.purehtx.com as well as um, social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at P-U-R-E-H-T-X. And you can find my boutique at F-E-I-G-N Boutique on um, Instagram and Facebook as well and www.themeboutique. Cool, cool. Well, I appreciate you coming on with me today. I'm so grateful that you had me. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Hopefully we'll be hooking up soon to do some work or work with someone else or whatever we need to do. We absolutely will. Cool. I'm all in. <laughs> thank you, guys. We'll see you next time.